Have you ever wondered what the world would be like if you never existed? Why don't we take a look? Who are you? I guess you could say, I'm the spirit of Christmas. Call me Christy. Yep, I've definitely gone insane. Hey, wait! Hear me out! I'm the spirit of Christmas. I can show you what life would be like in the past, present and future if you never existed. What's the point of that? Wait! Are you saying that the world will be better without me and you're going to rub it in my face? No! It's a system designed to show people how to better themselves. You know, I feel like I've heard this story several times before, except I get the strange feeling that every other time was better. Whatever. Let's just get started, shall we? Go ahead. I remember this. It's the day I got my prized replica sword. And the same day, Taylor... That's when she got that? How many does she even have? I... I don't know. The point is, this makes her happy. And she has already started collecting these wax ears. Wax? Next, we have Tyler. Again, didn't realize it was this deeply rooted. And finally, Alvin. But if you never existed... No presents? Whoa, he is out of shape. Huh. That's odd. Just forget it. Alvin is practically a force of nature. Oh. Well, as for the present, when you don't exist, Tyler has a desk job for a corporate company, and he hates it. Taylor was captured by Martini and lives a miserable life in a cell. And finally... Alvin remains a force of nature? Pretty much. But now, the real reason I'm talking to you. The future. You're all dead. Well, I guess that's to be expected. In time, everyone dies. That's what I thought at first. However, this is not years into the future. Hmm? This is three days into the future. Three days? Everyone will be dead? That's why I'm really here. In three days, it's not just you or your friends that will be dead. The entire world will be doomed. Hello? <laughs> Man, you really had me there for a minute. I guess this really is a dream. It is not a dream! Okay, okay. It's a fever dream. This is important! If we don't do something, the entire world will end! Okay? Even if I believe you, why pick me? Surely there are better candidates than me in every category. No, you're the only one who can possibly do this. Right, why is that? Because magic doesn't work on you. What are you talking about? <sighs> Let me start from the beginning. Every living being in this world is imbued with magical power of some kind. And each type of magic power interacts with the world in a different way. If I can just interrupt... What? Magic doesn't exist. It does. It just doesn't work on you while you're conscious. What? 
Just let me continue. Some people have learned to control these elements, but most simply use them mildly in their lives without realising it themselves. The magic power you have is incredibly rare, the power of wind. In fact, you are the only person to have this power in the past 300 years. One of the things that makes the power of wind so special is that it has the ability to nullify the other types of magic. That does ring a bell. I remember that girl trying to turn me into a cat, but it didn't work. Maybe. What was that? Looks like our time is up for now. I'll talk to you later, but for now, you'd better wake up. Wait, Christy, how do I stop the end of the world? Steven, wake up! Why don't we make it so he never wakes up again? Too slow, huh? No matter, my plan is unstoppable now. You okay, Taylor? I'm fine, for now. More importantly, are you okay? You've been acting pretty strange. Aside from a weird dream, I'm completely fine. That's good. It wasn't a dream! It was a vision! Christy, you mean that was all real after all? I told you, didn't I? This is a real problem! Okay, I believe you. How do I stop the end of the world? I don't know for sure, but I think if you can keep this girl here from being captured, the world will be saved. If you manage to keep her safe until after Christmas, I think that will do it. Got it. Got what? Oh, uh, nothing. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Positive. Look, I'm gonna go do some research and then I'll get back to you. One last thing. Don't tell her anything. Yeah, I've watched enough TV shows to know that's never the right answer. It's not that you can't tell her. She'll just think you're insane. Good point. Good luck. You too. How long are you going to stare off into the distance? Ah, sorry. I was just thinking about something. Does it have to do with severed ears? Why would I ever be lost in thought about severed ears? Then I probably don't care. Come on, let's go get some food. Seriously, I'll be fine. You don't need to escort me everywhere. But what if Martini decides to attack? I don't think she will. Besides, how am I supposed to get you a present if you keep following me? What was that? Nothing. Really? I thought I heard you say something. I didn't say anything. I didn't say you did. And I'm saying I didn't. I already told you. I believe you. Really? Really. I don't believe you. See? I told you I'd be fine. And I told you that Martini would attack. Oh, I just had to open my mouth, didn't I? This is going nowhere. How's that, Martini? Had enough? You may have won the battle, but I will win the war. You okay? I'm fine. Cool. Let's go home now. <laughs>